Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How's it going? Tonight we have another Xbox event. We have the March 2024 Xbox Partner Preview. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's see what they got tonight. It's supposed to be about 30 minutes long. Uh, I think about 10, 12-ish games. I think this is all third-party stuff. That's why it's a partner preview and not a developer direct. Won't you at least tell me what we're doing here? All I know is that it's serious. I... It's not serious, Serena. I don't recognize this one. It is dangerous. Draining souls out of people? What is this? Okay. In my experience, the greatest harm often comes from the best intentions. The cycle is starting again. How many more times must we endure the vanity of the Nine? When there isn't a path to be found... No, I don't think it's Flintlock. Unknown awakening? You've been here before, countless times, and so shall you be here again. In fact, you're here right now. September. Okay, cool. Learn how to wield otherworldly skills in the world of Unknown 9 with an in-depth developer update on Xbox Wire. Well, let's keep an eye on that one. Everyone's got an ex-employer they wish they never worked for. Not everyone's ex-employer set them up to take a fall. Just so happens they frame the wrong witch. They call me Lady Luck. And every card I draw is lucky. I didn't think we'd be seeing a bunch of new stuff in this, but okay. And when I okay. find out what my old coven is up to, they better hope they have a good hand. Hmm. Over there! She's here! Not tonight, boys. If the coven wants to play, they'll have to play dirty. Very like 1930s S sleight of hand. That's actually um, a good name. Oh, this is gonna be Frostpunk too. Right? What if you could change the decisions you regret in your life and see the outcomes of those choices with your very own eyes? Not unless these guys are working on another the game. The Altus tells the story of Jan Dolz, a simple miner who survived a crash landing on a hostile planet. He quickly okay, this realizes is not that what was too. supposed right. to be a lifetime job opportunity turns into a desperate fight for his life. Jan will need to handle a large mobile base that's designed to be operated by an entire team of qualified personnel. Even worse, the planet Jan landed on revolves around the deadly scorching star. Escaping the sunrise is crucial for survival. Despite his best efforts, 
Jan simply lacks the time and skills to deal with all these problems on his own. But the planet Jan is stranded on is home to a mysterious substance called Rapidium. With its use and the help of the quantum computer on board, Jan is able to create alternative versions of himself. Okay, this game. Okay, we've seen this the game. Alters. Okay. Yep, we've we've seen this game. It's been a while since we've seen a trailer. Each one of them is the result of altering a crucial I remember this decision now. from Jan's past. The alters are a reflection of the questions he asks himself. What if I never left my hometown? What if I didn't drop out of college? What if I fought harder to save my marriage? Our alters have the necessary knowledge and skills that we desperately need to succeed. That's like a really interesting way of doing that. Goals, ambitions, and fears, all derived from their different life paths. And that can generate problems. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. Incompetence and coherent decision making. A groundbreaking mission on the verge of failure. Damn. I just hope I don't f everything up again. You want a relationship that lasts? Put some effort in it. Each Yan is a different person. It will be extremely difficult to keep everyone happy. You gotta learn how to say no sometimes. But we must do whatever we can, because as the mission goes on, the challenges will only pile up. No, these are all third-party games. So they could be for like every system. Obstacles on the outside. Internal tensions that could prove to be even more dangerous. And with a ticking clock of the deathly sun behind our backs, the only way home is to press forward. Cool. That's, that'd be a Game Pass game. Pretty sure the first two did not say Game Pass. It's a game where you play as a bard to the woodland animals. I like it. Oh, it's like a photo. It's like Pokemon Snap. Kind of. like a combat. All right. Kind of. There's another game pass. Learn how Creatures of Ava places you in the role of a savior in the first look preview on Xbox Wire. Is this like a worse version of Redfall? What is this?
Wait, this is a Chucky game? It's like, it's like a multiplayer uh, brawler. Maybe like a battle royale or something. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. You. <laughs> well, I'm not sleeping tonight. Oh, roll. Okay. Oh, so Sleight of Hand was a new game reveal, but Unknown 9 Awakening was not? Huh. I really like the format of all the Xbox shows, even when they do stuff like this. It's like a quick little recap. Very nice. What is this? All right, we're getting crazy now. you drop your flashlight? What are you doing? Okay, I've heard of the, uh, the first game, yeah. Like, visually, looking at it, I couldn't have told you what it was, but I've heard of the Sinking City. Want to dive deeper into this mystery? Discover more about this long-awaited sequel in our Xbox Wire interview. My warrior this of light. Final Fantasy, 14, coming to Walk Xbox. Free and bear the light for others to follow. Chat, are you the champion of light? Still one of the best MMO stories ever created. Like if if I if I'm honest with you guys, we scions will fight. I don't think I've ever seen breath. a game Forward, my friends, for freedom and justice. that had a story where I've seen so many know. people and cry on stream. Country. Like Darkness. This the last expansion they released for this game. And hope as goes one. Like so go with the other. I can tell you ten content come creators home. that I've watched come home. that balled their eyes out playing this. It's crazy. Cult classic PC. Well, what game is this? Check your guns and ammo just in case. Refined for consoles. What old PC game is this? 
Oh, Stalker. Okay. I've never played any of the Stalker games. We do have the new one coming out later this year. Okay, so they're bringing all the Stalker games. Legends of the Zone. Oh, it's available today on Xbox. Oh, look at that. Learn how developer GSC Game World brought the cult classic Stalker trilogy to Xbox in an exclusive Xbox Wire interview. Monster Jam, huh? Yeah, this is not pod racing. It's too slow. Oh, is this Persona? So Persona 3 Reloaded just came out. It's already on Game Pass. The music in these games is so good. Oh, I thought it. I guess Persona 3 had DLC or something that didn't get added in. Okay. Like they're adding in like old retro tracks or something. Uncover what else the Dark Hour has in store for Game Pass members this year on Xbox Wire. Also, who's the narrator of this video? 
kind of sounds like Troy a little bit, but it, I don't think it is. Not unless he's like disguising his voice for some reason. DNF. I know there's a game called DNF Duel. I think it's a fighting game. So is this a third person action game set in that universe then? Fighting a giant dragon man. First Berserker. Kalunga, God of Death. This game I will be playing, Chad. This game looks fantastic. To the realm of the living. It is told that there are three this is Tales of Kanzara. I seek my Baba's return in exchange for these spirits. It's like very Tales like Black Panther esque. A journey through a land enriched with myth and legend. Played the demo of this and it was super good. Grief is ever present here, from the arid deadlands, the harsh and unforgiving terrain, to the dense and dangerous forest floor of the woodlands, a place laden with mystery and fear. In your arsenal, you carry your late father's masks, the mask of the moon, utilized best for the combat was really the mask fun. Of the sun, a chaotic ballet that compels you to engage spirits in melee combat. The mask of the moon, the mask of the sun. You must embrace the dance of the shaman. Each ability gained by the player can be used both traversally as well as in the fray of combat. For example, take Akita's spear. Not only can it be used to activate elements that are out of reach, but also engage and pierce through multiple enemies at once. And with each small victory along your journey, you will grow and better yourself, obtaining powers and tools that allow you to turn the tides of battle in your favor. You should not sneak up on people, young shaman. We are shamans, healers in a land long past healing. The complexities of grief inspired the foundations of the world of Kenzera. You will be faced with intricate puzzles, arduous obstacles, and deceptive traps that demand both patience and skill to overcome. And though the path is fraught with adversity, an even fiercer battle rages within you. Mercy is a rare flower that blooms in the lands of Kinzera. But you can do this. I know you can. April 23rd. This is Frostpunk 2. This game visually looks incredible.
I'm pretty sure that's new information. We didn't have a date on that game. Now we do. Cool. Pretty sure we've seen this one, but I forget what the name is. I remember this game looking very weird. It's kind of like a Japanese culture game. Like, here's the weird stuff, you know? Yeah, I kind of feel like this game is just all over the place with what it's trying to do. Like, I don't even know what to think about it. Oh, that's right. Path of the uh, Goddess. I, 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 as we were watching that, I'm like, this is called Path of the Something. Path of the Dragon? No, that's not right. Learn how Kanitsugami Path of the Goddess mixes action and real-time strategy in an exclusive Xbox Wire. Wait, there was real-time strategy in there? I couldn't see it. Yeah, I'd say, um, I'm not sure if we're at the end here. Hold on. Before I start talking about what we just saw. Okay. Let me rewind the tape here for a second. Actually, I'm going to go back to that last screen. Hold on. Can we, uh, I want to, I want to pause on this screen right here. I think that'll, uh, that'll work here. Yeah, out of everything we just saw, uh, as far as like the new stuff, uh, Sleight of Hand looked really interesting, uh, as did the Unknown Nine Awakening. Uh, Alters we had seen before, that game continues to look really cool. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Tales of Kinzara is a game that I plan on playing and also probably streaming. Uh, other than that... Nothing else in there really um, 
It's for me. I mean, Persona 3 is already out and is definitely my kind of game, but it's also a 100-hour game. I would love to stream it, but when can I find the time? That's the problem with, with that. Yeah, I think the Stalker games, it's, it's like you, you can't play everything. And so I think I'm okay with not playing Stalker games. Uh, Frostpunk 2, I'm definitely interested in. I do like a good city builder, so keeping an eye on Frostpunk 2. I did play a little bit of Frostpunk 1. I'd kind of like to go back and play more of it. But yeah, Path of the uh, Goddess, not really interested. Uh, first, Be first Berserker, I'd like to see more on. But yeah, other than that, yeah, some some good stuff in there. This was this was this was kind of a, a hit and miss uh, presentation. But yeah, some good stuff, some stuff that I would never play. But yeah, definitely some uh, some good stuff in there. Yeah, cool stuff. Uh, I think yeah, I don't I don't really have too much more to say about it. Uh, like I said, there's some in there that I'm gonna keep an eye on. So. For those who are watching on YouTube, yeah, I think we'll just uh, wrap up the video right there. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.